Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Aqua, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a bookshelf with a hidden book switch which opens a secret vault door. And in the vault, you can keep your most prized possessions, such as Jason here. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to just be a vault. You can have it hook up to a secret passageway, maybe a storage. Your call. It's your choice. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to build the bookshelf and how to hook a certain book up to a hidden door. Now you may have noticed at the start of the video that the door is very noticeable. This is simply due to the fact that I had a lot of lighting behind it, but you can see that it is barely noticeable when there is no lighting behind it. But I did still put some tiny tiles on the edges so that it looks more like a design rather than a hidden door. So just keep in mind to be careful with the lighting, but anyways here is what you will need for this project. Also, all of the tiny tiles are for decoration and are not required. And by the way, all loose items in the miscellaneous section can be swapped out for anything you think looks like a book, and the quantities of items can be adjusted to best suit your needs. However, I would suggest at least two icicle or spooky icicle lights for the mechanism to work best. Alright, to begin I have a hole in my wall 17 studs by 10 studs, but this is customizable and you can change and swap anything you feel would improve the design or adjust the dimensions to best fit your house. I would just recommend watching this video through so that you can make sure that you know the mechanics behind it so that you can customize it how you like. To start building you're just going to want to take a short smooth wall and place it one stud away from the edge of the wall. Then take another one and place it on top against the wall. And finally take the last one and then place it like this. And then take two smooth wall stubs and place them on the ground like this. Now it's time to bust out your fat door. You're just going to want to place it like this. It should fit snugly. Now open the fat door. Now take out your tile and place it so it's overhanging by one stud. And then make sure that it is flush. Now when you close the door, the knob should be hidden from the outside. Now you can just open the door once again. And now just place two small floors like this. This should hide the knob from the outside when you look at it from all angles. Now take another small tile and place it like this. This is the hole in which your book will fit through. However, its placement can be adjusted depending on where you want the secret book to reside. But adjusting its placement will involve some moving around of the wall so you can play around with it. But remember, it's best for the secret book to be against one side of the bookshelf so that the book can slide through easier. So it may be best to wait until the bookshelf is fully built before you start moving this hole around. Anyways, just make sure that the tile is flush with the wall and then you're going to want to take two tiny floors and place them right here. And then place two smooth wall stubs to fill in the gap up top. And then you're just going to want to take a small floor and place it right up here. And that concludes the wall building, however you can place these tiny tiles to decorate the door. Alright, it's time to start building the bookshelf. Start off by placing two skinny smooth walls upright. 
They should cover up both holes so that all is left is this little slit. Next, if you decided on having tiny tiles, you're just going to want to place them one stud apart like this, and make sure that the first one is one stud off the ground. If you aren't doing this, I would recommend doing this particular part with blueprints so that you can get the measurements done correctly. Now take two small tiles and place them on the bottom of the bookshelf like so. Now take two more and place them so that they're in line with the top of this tiny tile right here. Now repeat until you run out of small tiles. Now this next part is just a facade and it's just for decoration. You absolutely do not need to do this. I just think that it makes the bookshelf look a little bit better. By the way, you can customize this facade however you like if you're doing it. Alright, now it's time to start placing in your logic. You're just going to want to start out with a tile blueprint. You do not have to fill this one in. This will just make sure that the pressure plate will not activate from the wall. Now place in your pressure plate. And destroy your tile. Make sure that it does say tile before you destroy it and that you're not destroying anything important. Make sure that it does say blueprint right here too. Now just take your wire and hook it up from the output of the pressure plate to the doorknob. Now you can test it out by sliding one of your loose items into the hole, your door should open. If it doesn't, then your wire was likely placed wrong. And by the way, the icicle and spooky icicle lights work best for this since their dimensions work perfectly. The book slides in without getting stuck and it's big enough that it doesn't leave any space to be able to see the pressure plate behind it. You want to place two of them right next to each other in order to completely hide the pressure plate. So now you can just stack up your books like this. Just place them in any orientation you like. I prefer a mixture of horizontally and vertically stacked books.
So this book placement does take a very long time. This is one of the main reasons why I didn't make a bookshelf that actually moves and is the door itself. It's because it would take too long to put the books back every time you open it. It's just Roblox physics. And by the way, you have to kind of push it in and then pull it back out. Someone's gonna make an aqua flow out of context, I swear. Anyways, you need to make sure that you pull the book out every time you activate the door so that the door doesn't keep going back and forth. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanna say that this is your last chance to get the 11K merch sweater. So if you want it, then now is your last chance. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like it, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video once it's out.